guys. I thought I'd do a little video on a jig that I made uh, to cut the slots for draw bolts. Uh, you see them a lot in countertops, uh, but they're good for miter joints where you have thick material where the slot and the bolt's not going to come up through the top of the wood. This is all going to be underneath. So as long as your material's thick enough, you're not going to see it and it's a good way of tightening up the joint. So right here we're cutting out a T. That's pretty much all the jig is. It's just a T that the router collar can follow. So right here we're just extending that center line down uh, so we can see it on our material. Getting the location we want. And then extending that mark out so that the jig it can line up with it. Then here, just lining up that center line and flushing the edge with the material underneath. Then just drilling some holes to mount it to the workpiece. Um, this is all going to be on the bottom again, so none of it's going to show. But if you wanted to do it differently, you could clamp it on. You just got to make sure that the clamps aren't going to get in the way of the router when you're cutting the slot. So here we got the router with the collar on there and uh, I believe this is a 5 8 collar with a 3 8 up spiral cutting bit. Another thing to mention is the bit that we're using is fairly long. It's got to get past that 3 quarter inch jig and then down to the depth of cut that we're looking for. So if you're looking to get a bit for something like this, just keep that in mind. Now we're just making several passes so we're not putting too much strain on the router um, I think it drops down like a quarter inch each turn of that knob so three or four passes and we should be good to go so we got the one side done and now we're moving over to the other side doing the same exact thing it took a little while to find the bit that I'm using it's a long 3 8 up spiral bit and it only came in a 3 8 shank size so I had to get a 3 8 collet for the router but I'll go ahead and put links for both in the description you can also use a quarter inch up spiral bit I think that's actually what I ended up using on the project that I made this jig for um, not right here in the sample piece but on the uh, bench top that I was using it on so now just dropping the draw bolt in there and then tighten it up and that's the joint. Now just doing a little drop test. This is just a sample piece, but on the real deal, uh, you end up gluing that miter joint before you suck it up with the draw bolt. These are the dimensions for the cutout on the jig, but I'll go ahead and put a link in the description uh, for a file that has these in it. Then here it's showing it being used on a real project. This is the bench top uh, from a video that I previously uploaded. And this, I was cutting it with the quarter inch of spiral. So, you'll see in the end, it's actually a tighter fit. As for the depth of the slot, I like to go just deeper than halfway. 
Uh, that way when you drop that bolt in there, it's sucking it up right in the middle rather than more on the top or more on the bottom. I use dominoes on this project. Uh, you don't need them. Uh, I just used them to make sure that the top didn't get uh, off by a little bit. Um, I didn't want one side being a little higher than the other side and having to sand that all out. So these just kind of made sure that everything kind of lined up real good. You don't need them for this joint, but they do make it nice. I suppose you could do the same thing with a biscuit joiner. And that's going to do it for the drill bolt jig. Thanks for watching.